Bucky <laughs> School of Flower Design turns beginners into pros, designing everything from boutonnieres to wedding bouquets. And joining us now is Mike Gaffney from the school, along with a current and former student, Brenda Jefferson. You've actually graduated from the program. Oh, yes, right? I did. Good for you. Amazingly. That's great. And did you go into it because you wanted to do it as a profession? Well, I really did. I needed a, a career change. And okay. that's why I totally went into it. And I didn't think flowers. I could not put flowers in a vase. Or, Nothing. Or do, why the Milwaukee School of Flower Design? I kept saying Michael's advertising and it was like okay it looks like he knows what he's doing and uh -huh. he really does yeah I mean, so let's talk about the classes in the program what do you learn well most of our students are uh, beginners they've not uh, done a whole lot with flowers but they have a desire to and basically it's a very intensive eight-week course we learn everything from European design American design Asian design um, but interesting enough, we also talk about marketing and sales and how to get your feet in the door and how to really succeed in this industry because it's a huge billion dollar industry. Okay, and that was my question. Is flower design lucrative? I mean, you wanted to change a career. Can you make money doing yeah, it? Yes, people think flower designing uh, is about uh, wrapping tulips, you know, mm -hmm. on the, at the corner flower shop. It is an alternative for you. You can get a job working in a corner flower shop. But also on weekends, we do ten to $50,000 floral events so you can imagine the kind of uh, money there is in this business we're looking at some absolutely fabulous bouquets right now mm -hmm. with just real unique twist is that something you kind of specialize in is taking mm -hmm. it out of your average vase and sticking a multi-colored um, bouquet in there yeah so I, te I teach my students that whatever you do you put your thumbprint on it you know in school we teach yes. the basic rules of design which in other words it means when I go to work in the morning, I tell my students I don't reinvent the wheel. I can do this in my sleep, following set rules of design. And then when you've got that done, you add your little thumbprint, which Hot could be the copper tubing, the little uh, bear grass snaking, connecting, little energy flow there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's you know you always put your last little thump into it, so it says it's yours. For is, your this, clients. is this something hard to learn if you're a beginner? Uh, that's the fun part. No, it's very easy. Yeah. Students kind of be like, and they say, will we ever learn how to do like the cover of the magazine by the end of eight weeks? And I go, mm, about 22 minutes from now. You have something <laughs> so gorgeous in your hands, you won't believe it. Because it is. It's based on very simple rules of design that you were just never shown before. Fact, where, where are you guys located? How can people find um, you? Our school in Milwaukee is located in Brewers Hill, right next to Schlitz uh, Park, First and Pleasant. Where so how do you teach? floral design then? Um, it's a hands-on. It's all hands-on. You just show up, sit down, I throw a ton of flowers in front of you and I say now we're going to control the merchandise. <laughs> okay. You know, And basically design is these are all color swatches. So mm -hmm. if, you, if you learn a few simple tips you know where they belong. It's not a guessing game when you design flowers. Okay, you say you can put together a bouquet, a wedding bouquet in a minute. It takes about a minute. Shh, don't well, you heard what we thought because we were thinking oh, okay. hours. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what Brian's is A little less, and I've been doing this a long time, so maybe the average girl a few minutes longer. But what can you do with a bunch of roses to, just right there? Right. This is a really good tip, and here's a, here's one of the things we learned in school. This is like uh, the second day. Um, it's a left to right motion. Watch this. See that? Cross yeah. to the left. Spin a little to the right. Cross the left, spin it to the right. Keep going. Wow. That's how they do this it. This is the most requested bridal bouquet in America. Five out of ten girls will come in and say, you know that all rose uh, bouquet? That's what That's I want. what they want. Stop. Tweak it a little. Push it in a little bit. Yep. Pull it and out. And the secret is this. If you, if you hadn't come to school, you'd be doing this, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The secret is crossing. See that cross? See the cross. That's okay. All the difference in and the world. And this is the part that you talked about about not reinventing the wheel, but then right. when you put your final touches on right. it, right? Then I may wrap it signature. in gold bullion, yeah. or I may uh, wrap it in you know uh, the bear grass around the base. Is the wrapping it going to be the tricky part once you got the no. putting the flowers together? Everything is easy at the moment. I know. <laughs> and as we're letting him finish that up, what have you done with your education from the school? Well, I opened my own business, but I'm also working.
working with Michael in the Milwaukee, <laughs> Chicago. We do, yes, yes we go over and we do shows at like Bloomingdale Sacks, and Brenda's been my really good assistant at all the shows. That's so that neat. Do. And when people just think of flowers, I, I think sometimes they just think of a flower shop. What are some other options after you graduate um, from the design school that you could go out and uh, pursue? Eventing, a uh, large party and corporate work event designers yeah. is a huge thing. A lot of my students go right into uh, doing events or working for event designers because that's where the money is. I cannot mm -hmm. believe that. It's like <laughs> a it globe in a of roses. <laughs> <laughs> a globe of roses for sure and the color is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So now you're using some wire. Just going to use a little wire today to uh, keep them together so when I'm done. Yeah, I think it was a twist. Yeah, I would just squeeze incredible. these together, wrap them with ribbon, and say, go ahead, go fall in love. Walk and down the aisle. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All, tell them you get married all over again. There you go. Not only have we talked about lucrative op and a lucrative opportunity, but it's also fun. You get to be creative, oh, correct? Mm -hmm. and, and are there a lot of fun people in the business, too? Are you glad you got into it? Very much so. I, I, and we're like a family now. We, go out, we do special events. We did uh, Union Station. That was one of my fun things. And I think it's worth stressing again that you don't need experience to do this. This is something you can come into as a beginner and learn. Right. Um, Twenty-some years ago, I was a truck driver on my way back to New York. I had a job on Wall Street, <clears throat> and I stopped in a flower shop, and that happened to me. So. That's wild. <laughs> wild. I went in being a makeup artist, and I wanted to learn flowers, and I, I went over and, and I, Michael, there, there are principles and, and elements and things you have to learn. I just stuck my flowers in. And Michael came by and said, I see we have a diva, and he fucked up everything I had. <laughs> I said, start over. And that's when you guys became best of friends. I know. I could do it as well. Thank you so much. We want to point out the Milwaukee School of Flower Design um, is right here on North First Street. Uh, for the number to call for classes, 877-32-BLOOM, easy number to remember. Or for more information, go to their website, milwaukeeflowerdesign.com.